If you like this painting, The Alchemist's Table, and you haven't voted yet, please do. If this is in a Facebook competition on Worldwide Kitsch 2018, and there's a link in the bottom of the description box below that you can go to, and I'll take you to that Facebook page. And to vote, all you have to do is like that painting. The competition is running until November 15th, so you can vote until November 15th. And there's a popular vote, and so that's what the likes attributed to each painting in that gallery is for. And then there's also um, a juror winner as well. So this week I've been painting and working on that big master copy by Solomon J. Solomon, his painting of Samson. So before when I was working on this in Chicago at the Ravenswood Atelier, I was painting the whole thing at once, getting everything blocked in. So I wouldn't really focus in on one area, but I would be thinking about laying paint down over the whole thing so it has um, a sense of unity to it. But it's all blocked in now, and so now I'm working on resolving it, which is going to take, I think, a really long time. I'm probably just going to be working on this in the background for a really long time is what I'm anticipating. Um, so th this other painting that I've been doing or working out uh, the composition the composition for, this Icarus painting. Um, I did a wash, just toned the canvas. And so while that's drying and stuff, I've been working on this Samson painting. So it's kind of nice to have this in the background where it's this master copy is teaching me how Solomon J. Solomon solved these problems of um, the composition and then also painting technique. So the problems are already solved for this painting, so I'm just figuring out how how he did that. So it's kind of nice that the problems are already solved for the master copy, so this is just um, keeping me painting and working on something and trying to get to that technical mastery that Solomon J. Solomon did. Um, so what I'm doing, resolving certain areas, now I'm just working on the main character, Samson, and working on resolving that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it now piecemeal and still be looking at the whole composi composition and the whole painting, but instead of painting, trying to paint the whole painting at once, I'm just going to focus on small parts of it now. So I think what I'm going to do is just focus on Samson and get that as much, as resolved as much as possible before I work on and switch to another figure. So that's the plan now. And so like I said for that Icarus painting, I um, the canvas and the stretcher bars that I ordered finally came so I got that stretched up. And the painting size is 24 by 36. And putting that to, especially working on this really large painting Samson and then I wanted to this Icarus painting to be um, a big painting as well. Not as big as that obviously, but the 24 by 36 is seeming rather small now. So once I get going on it, I think if I don't like how it's looking, if it's looking too small, I might use this as just like a a study for the Icarus painting and might make it bigger. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I was working on the mask painting. This week though, I've totally, well, I've literally taken it down. Working on this um, Solomon G. Solomon copy, I have taken out all my easels out of the studio and my still life stand, which is this rolling bar that I have that I've been using for a still life stand. Um, I've just had to take everything out of the room so I can step back enough to work on the painting because the painting is just so big. So um, it's been kind of nice taking a break from that mask painting still life. But I think I'm gonna wheel it back in and start working on that mask painting again because I wanna get that one I want to get that one finished for sure. But um, so I'm in California, Northern California, San Jose, and there's been a lot of fires happening. So the fires that's affecting me are the ones that are in um, Paradise, California, and that's Northern, that's above San Francisco. And I'm about an hour drive south of San Francisco. So um, we're getting a lot of the, the smoke pollution from it here. Um, uh, Friday and Saturday was super, it was very strange. The 
the day was the days have been darker from the smoke in the air and it's um everything has this haze over it and literally the days have been darker at least that friday and saturday and now it's looking more normal it still sm smells like smoke out there and like you can i can feel it um in my sinuses and asthma and like when i'm outside um my contacts will get sticky and and dry out um so we definitely like i can feel the the effects of it and so um one reason like with taking my still life down is that um that still life i'm working from the light from my window from natural light and since the days those days have been uh darker from the smoke it's kind of not conducive to be painting from the natural light because it's just not looking right um but the the smoke is i know the, the fires are still going on i think last time i checked it was only 25 percent contained so i don't um but right now looking out the window it's the skies look blue so um yeah the sun's not getting too covered up by smoke now but it's just interesting natural disasters affecting um a painter and um back eric and i we took a vacation to lassen volcanic national park and so that was um way north california and so when we were there there had been a fire it was put out but there was so much smoke in the area and so driving to that national park you could see the complete devastation of the, the fires where you're especially in a national park where it's just nature everywhere and you're going through and you're seeing these trees that are completely burnt to a crisp and there's no leaves or needles on the trees because the fire had gone through it and then there's heavy smoke through it so everything has this really thick haze to it and it seems like you get this this weird feeling like you're going through the, the world has ended and you're someone that's walking through and seeing all this destruction from the world having already ended and then um being in san jose now especially the last couple days where the smoke was really bad here it's really interesting seeing that contrasted to the um that other forest fire that we were in and so now it's it's fall so all the trees are really colorful and you know leaves are kind of constantly falling down so just like being an artist artist image wise and you're just always like thinking about like what images could represent or i don't know just being stuck on images it's interesting seeing it now with um like beautiful autumn but like thick smoke in the air gives it look like it's apocalyptic apocalyptic in a way that it looks like the like you're in the process of the world coming to an end um I don't know it's very strange okay this week i also got my cherubs painting back it's hanging up above me right <laughs> here um i sent that to a framer and so this is a video clip of me just hanging it up on the wall after i got it i just got back from the framers and oh i got my cherubs painting framed oh it looks so good the um the frame looks like it was painted with the same palette as my cherub's painting was painted. So cool. Let me flip this around. The lighting, it's hung right now above our couch. It's the safest place for it. Uh, the lighting's not that great in here. It's kind of dark, but I've never... Well, I just started getting my stuff professionally framed. And so this is a metallic type of frame. Well, it's wood, but it's painted with metallic type paint. And it's kind of... Um, well, it's antiqued as well, which I think matches nicely with my cherubs painting. And so this painting, you can see like um, the the piece of sculpture is hanging on a on a wall, so it's already got like this um, this like darker. It's kind of framed <laughs> by itself with this darker thing, and I like my paintings to be framed with black like over here is one 
And I like that look with the black and the gold around it. I think it looks really nice. Here's my paintings. It's another one. Kevin. Apartment is so dark. But since um, we tried something like that with this one, but it looked so weird since it's um, got that dark around it and it's like such a bright painting compared to, even though it looks dark right now, it's such a bright painting compared to my other stuff where it's like a really small light source. So this uh, looks really cool. Yeah, it looks like the same, the same color palette as my painting, which is cool. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. Just started getting my stuff professionally framed and I love how it looks. It's just like putting something in a frame. Oh, it just like makes it seem like a real painting. <laughs> I have this other painting that I took to another framer. There's been some issues with the, the frame bars were messed up, so it's taking a long time for, for that to, to come back. And then my friend Tudor in Chicago, he makes frames and he sent me this frame. Oh, let's see if you can see it. So he hand makes them. A lot of framers, they um, will buy the wood already made and um, just assemble the frame then for your painting for your custom frame. But Tudor does it all from, from scratch and they're really beautiful. And like even the back of the hardware that he puts on, he puts so much effort. He has this cool seal too that he burns into the, to the wood. So he's got an Instagram account. So he's making these now a lot. They're really, really cool. This one, um, he designed and I just wanted it to be uh, black and it's he put wax on it as well but he's got other ones where it's got like the the gold leafing on the lips so you should check out his Instagram account really really cool stuff okay that's it for what I've been doing this week don't forget to vote um, for the alchemist table painting I'm really really proud of that painting and really glad that it got accepted into the the worldwide kitsch competition. So um, if you haven't voted yet, down in the description box, there's the link to the Facebook page where you can go and like my painting.